here, control G, I can't see G, but there it is. And we're going to type in the function that we dealt with here with Hypatia's garden. So x minus 5, x minus 3, x plus 7. So let's try that. Open bracket x minus 5. Make sure you do the multiplication sign just so it recognizes that you're multiplying. Multiplied by x and then plus 7. We press return. And of course, we've got this particular picture here. We'd probably like to see the same sort of picture that we saw on the question. Let's just close the powers draining a little bit. And can you see the maybe 0 to 5 on the x and 0 to 15 on the y? So let's just mirror the same. Uh, we can do it the quick way here. I'll go negative 1 here up to 5. And over here, I'll do the same thing, negative 1. And was it 20? I can't quite remember. Okay, that looks pretty good, right? So now we've got the same sort of picture here that we had for Hypatia's garden here. And the idea is that we actually have a built-in area function on the TI-Inspire that will let us work out the total area underneath the curve. So if we go right back to the start, instead of approximating it with trapeziums and having an approximate area, because you can't quite get all the curves uh, taken account of when you're doing trapeziums, we go back here now and we just introduce the magic button. So we go to menu, we're going to analyze the graph. Now we're going to analyze the integral. So finding the area is called the integral. You can see a little picture here. So the picture has a curve and then this kind of shaded area and this is the x-axis. So this number six option works out the area between a curve and the x-axis. You can see option seven here has a bounded area. Now this kind might come in useful later this will find the area between two different curves. Can you see the picture? We're going to use number six for now, the integral. Now it wants you to type in the lower bound. Now I'm just going to literally type in zero and press enter. And I'm going to type in the upper bound is five, enter. Because that is indeed what the Hypatia's garden was, right? So from zero to five here, okay? And the area here is 45 point for two, that's the two decimal places. Now that's found all of this area, okay? So that's between zero here and then this value here. Now you can start playing with it and you can see how the area changes as we drag this along. Uh, we can also, this doesn't work on test mode, but we can do actions, we can do quadrants and equations, we can just click that point so we know what the quadrants of that point is. Let's press escape. And then if we actually wanted to change the garden design, double click on here, three, enter. So we can actually work out the various parts of the garden lawn area by just changing the X coordinate here. And that, that's pretty useful for us. So there we go, we've got the area is 45.4 to three significant figures. For finding the area under the curve, we can actually write it down in mathematical notation. So on here, there's a magic button here um, on the menu there. And this is actually the area function. So 0 up to 5 we had. And then we just type in the function here. And I think it was x minus 5. And then times by, oh, let me just get outside the bracket, times by open bracket x minus 3 times by x plus 7 and this says find the area the sigma notation it's a kind of like an elongated s this is the integral sign find the area between the lower bound x is 0 and x equals 5 um, the equation of the the function or the curve and then this is going to be dx this is essentially the x-axis so find the area bound by the curve um, the lower bound of x is 0, the upper bound of x is 5, and this is the x-axis, the dx at the end. And when we press return, we get this beautiful 45.41666, which corresponds to the previous answer we got from the graphical method.